Lee Selby, far away, please, gentlemen. First of all, Eddie, how does it feel to see you have another world champion in the camp? Um, it feels great. It's like the whole night's been a bit, bit mad, to be honest with you. Like normally it's just one fight for the world title, and you can, yeah. you know, obviously, and then Lee box, and then we're straight out with Kevin Mitchell as well. But you know, I think a lot of credit goes to Jamie and Chris Sanaga, who have really brought him up. You know, through the small ball room, we teamed up what six fights ago, maybe, and and, and when we signed him. People were saying to me, like, why are you signing Lee Selby? Like, you know, he doesn't sell tickets. And, but I saw him box Martin Lindsay on one of our shows. Mm. And there was something about him. I saw him walk into the ring with this like, attitude and, and to that song. And I just thought, oh, it's like, you know, he can half fight. And from there, you know, we boxed him in. Um, he made his debut for us uh, in Blackpool, yeah. which is what it's all about at the Winter Gardens. Don't get much bigger than that. You know, then from there, we went to Hull. Then we went to the O2, then we came back to the O2, uh, we went to Wales, then we went back to Wales, then we went to the O2 again for Brunk, and now we come back to the O2 for the World Title. So it's been absolutely fantastic, and Lee is one of those fighters that, you know, Jamie and Chris manage him superbly, but like you know what you're going to get from this album. You're going to get a guy who dedicates his entire life to the sport. So when he turns up, and you know, he had to deal with the fact that we were going to box here on April 25th for the World Title. So they went out to LA, you know, got all it all prepared, then it was delayed till May the 30th, and they came home, went back, but they left no stone unturned. That, and they would have known, he knew, that he, they, he couldn't have done anything more than he did to prepare for that. And, and the proof was in the pudding with a performance, because you don't have performances like that unless you prepared the way he did. Lee, you, you seem to celebrate before the scorecards were even announced. Yeah. Um, we thought it was a stoppage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that what it was as well? Did you just think it was a stoppage? Did um, you know it was going no, to? No, I, I seen the doctor stop. Yeah. Was it difficult? It was almost like a, a bronco, but a stronger and tougher bronco. He kept on coming forward. Was that difficult to take as well? You, you hit him some good shots and he just kept on coming and kept on coming. Um, I think it was a bit of a 
No, I'm, I'm mentally strong in the fights. Obviously, physically, I'm, I'm, I'm always super fit. But like, that's when the mental strength comes in. You can hit me your best shots and then just keep coming along, isn't it? But like, I'll be out to America, inspire me, like some of the top Mexican fighters. And then they're the same type of fighters. So I was just super strong. Well, you know, that's what one of your brothers, you dedicated it to your other yeah. brother. What's that bit? Um, Here's my older brother. He started up boxing before, before I saw him. The age eight, I think. The manager at the age I, I followed that. And he's um, one of the nicest guys you've ever met. He passed away in 2008. He was working away. He slipped. He was with a, with a friend and they were out drinking. And they had a bit of an argument. They went their separate ways. He slipped into like a ravine in the dorm. Where was that now? Was it in Paris? No, in, in, in the Western Street Age. So, but he wasn't boxing that time, was he? No, no. He only bo boxed for a few years as an amateur. I don't think he had that. He got into the boxing. What's his name? Michael. Michael Joyce Nell. Think he would have been proud of that performance? Definitely. Definitely. He's, he's got the name for a long time. He's smiling. And that, that, that's the. Well, I went on the back of my short sneaky, that's his nickname, that's what's really important. When was the last time you saw your boss? Hmm? When was the last time you saw your boss? Um, well, when I turned professional, I think he was supposed to come to my first fight. Oh, really? Yeah, that's the last time I saw him. Yeah. 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 Do you kind of look at those kind of fights in the future and think about watering chances as well? Are you ready as well, getting them guys over here possible? Yeah, they're massive fights and you know, I think we deserve a little bit of fun first. Love to take him back to Wales. You know, we do have the problem in the arena now, and he holds yeah. just under 5,000. So, but Lee's ready to go, minor marks, but we've already talked before the fight. He wouldn't have known, but that's our job, you know, about getting him out end of August, yeah. very early September. Mm. And I'd like him to have at least two fights before, yeah. the, you know, before the end of the year. Yeah. Um, he's good enough, you know, he can fight literally anyone in the division. I think unification fights will come, but they're not something we're looking at immediately for Lee Selby. But, you know, he, he wants the biggest fights possible, but I do think that, you know, he's going to be around for a long time. And I think, you know, we, we want to get some defences in as quickly as possible. We spoke before and you said um, his previous fights you don't think has gone out of third gear. Did he, did he get to fourth gear at least today? Uh, I think because of the opponent, I mean, maybe, I think maybe he hadn't got out of second gear in the past. <laughs> maybe that was third gear tonight. That's right, yeah. Gradovich, he made Gradovich look like an average fighter. Yeah. That was just the fifth defence of his world title. You mm. know, he's just one fight of the year, he's a very good fighter. Mm. But Lee Selby can make you look really, really bad at times. And I felt like the style was perfect and that's why we pushed so hard. To get Gradovich here, he wasn't cheap. Yeah. You know, but I didn't want to cut Russia, really. Um, because even if that same fight might have taken place tonight, we might have got a draw. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it was like uh, we had to get that fight here, and if we did, we knew he'd become world champion. Yeah. Now Chris, you paid your dues in the game. What, what does tonight mean to you? Seeing Lee, you know, achieve his dream? Yeah, it's a great fight. We've had him here from fight one. The guy who dropped his first seat at to make him rich champion, and then European champion, now he's world champion. Now I Jamie and I, I dropped with me, uh, and then of course, to make him into a megastar. And, uh, and I believe he has got the ability, the dedication, the determination to go on and become that, that, that star. He's one of my favourite fighters to watch him. Yes. Um, what words would you say to Mr. Garcia and the Wayne? Because obviously we know you love going around. Uh, I love going around. You love around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what exactly was exchanged between the, the rival camps? What, 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 what um, they said, they said that he'd be running. He'd be running tomorrow, uh, you know. And, and uh, so I, I, I then they don't want to worry about running. And then he, he said something, <laughs> and then I walked forward. <laughs> we have running. You know what I mean? There's no idea. There was a few other bits as well. Yeah, yeah. You have no idea about who you are with your reputation. Well, yeah, obviously. So, you know, for boxing people, likewise, I would never uh, disrespect Vladimir. And as far as I'm concerned, he was disrespecting our man. And uh, I'm there. I'm quite <laughs> <laughs> no one does that. Who was he in second world, Chip? 
yes, we had David Cutney, that was 15 years ago. Um, yeah, he, uh, he won the final eliminator in Montreal and then went to Germany and knocked out uh, Marcus Baer at the WBC time. Yes, and then we have Haskins on. Uh, in the two weeks' time, yes, we have the IBF title. So, uh, we're flying. And, uh, we'll have the best time in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you. 